It's your old man Mark Bryce. Today's video I went ahead and opened up this package because I'm going to show you guys how to install a shift knob on your vehicle. What I have here is a shift knob from a Trackhawk. It's a 2020 or 2021 and I got it at a good price. I found it on eBay. The person just wanted to get rid of it. So right now while on camera I want to check it out to make sure there's nothing broken. So I have video footage of send this to um, to the claims in case if there is anything broken upon arrival. But either way, I got this for a great price. That's one of the reasons why I want to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. Um, oh yeah, want to make sure the clips are not broken. So this is where you need to be very careful. These clips, and they're good. Ooh, very nice. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh. Well, you look at that. Do I like that? Hmm. Let me see if I can fix this. All right. All right, so upon arrival, I'm looking at this, and this looks like it's been destroyed here because I can see a piece of metal there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a good look at it by opening this right here. You're going to press in here as well in there, and you're going to pull this out. I want to take a good look at this. Do I need both hands for this? Hmm. Okay, that's one. And that's two. All right, so hopefully you're catching this. What I did is I used a flathead and I pried this inwards so this can pop out. Once this was able to pop out, I was able to take out this. This looks broken. Somebody tried to remove this. Ridiculous. Look, all that scratches is who he or she ever did. Well, this is broken as you can see here. All right, so I'm gonna go inside the car to remove this panel here. Let me get some good light over here. This is the one that I got from eBay that was damaged. So I'm taking it out and I'm going to see if I can replace it with my factory boot here. Again, this is my factory one that came with my car, the altitude one. All right. I feel like it's coming out. Yeah. All right. There we go. I did it the way I said I was going to do it. So now this is good and not scratched up. But as you can see, I applied pressure and I scratched that area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm on the fence if I want to keep this black on black thread or go with the black and white thread. The leather feels the same. Uh, both leathers are the same, but this has that, what is it, like white? I don't know, I'm on the fence. Hmm. Which one? Let me bring it to the car. Okay. That one or this one? I'm not sure. I'm gonna 
get better lighting. Okay. There. I think I'm going to go with all black. Because this one has this white threading. It just doesn't go with this vehicle. I'm going to go with all black. Yep. Camera's capturing this. Okay. Now... It goes in like this. This guy. All right, I see that these two need to be in there. I gotta press it in. Or else it's gonna, yeah, I gotta fix that. All right, so the reason why this wasn't working properly on this black one, the track hawk wasn't working on the all black boot was because I forgot that I gotta take out this piece right here. And to do so, you got to press it in, and that's it. This is the reason why when I first started this video, opening this package up and it wasn't working properly was because this is broken. This is the one that came with the vehicle. It doesn't work. Okay, it's not going to go this way. As you can see, this area doesn't belong here. It belongs like that. There we go. Ooh wee. Okay. The button goes on the longer boot. Okay. Look at that. Ooh wee. Now I just gotta make sure it clicks. And how am I gonna do that? Well, you take this and you make sure they're in there. There you go. I just heard the click. All right. Perfect. Look at that beauty. It's one of a kind here because this is black boot on a track hawk. This is made for the altitudes. I think all the track hawks have white threading here. I believe the SRTs also have the white threading. I may be wrong, but this actually looks a lot better than the white threading because it just doesn't go with my vehicle. All right, so let me go ahead and put this back. This to Put everything back is the same way I showed you how to take it out, just in reverse order. All right, just so you can understand, when you're taking this out, these are the three things you have to make sure that you're doing correctly. Unplugging this one. Unplugging this one. This is for the gear shift indicator. I believe this is for the cup holder, whatever wire goes through in there. And then the T25 screw. Okay, and then when you're putting back everything together again, you make sure you're putting this one in, you're plugging it in, you're bringing down the shift knob, and then underneath this panel, go underneath it and then screw in the T25. All right, so I went ahead and I already installed the shift knob. I love it. It feels great. Slightly bigger than the original altitude one. Good job, and I'm very happy that I went ahead and put the uh, all black a leather boot instead of the black with the white threading kind of don't like it again it doesn't go with the flow of my vehicle now i'm giving you guys a tip here i have not put this back in yet but i go underneath here the torque screw is right there that's the t25 screw now to remove it and to install it to put it back in it's a lot easier going through here through the driver's side and putting that back in if you're over there on the other side, passenger side, you're gonna have to put your whole hand and arm underneath this to put that back. No way. It's, it's too much. Again, I cut myself. Look at my thumb. It's a lot easier just going through this way right here. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.
Show it to her. Or him. You keep saying it to her. Yes. Wanna try? Yeah. 